Abraham Lincoln, on April 30, 1863, he called, just like David Bart said, he called time out. And he said, we are going to have a national day of humiliation, of fasting, and of prayer to beg God to intervene, to bless this country. And I believe that's where we're at today. Governor Huckabee, who wrote the foreword of the book, in the foreword of the book, he said, if we don't do this, in his opinion, it is game over for this country. But it rests on God's people. That's where Joe Rosenberg says, if we beg him, he might just do it. It's an inside-out process, guys, but it's worth it. Because if we get serious about revival, of turning our individual and our collective hearts back to Him, then I think we have the ability to dream again. We have the ability to dream that God's name would be lifted up where it's supposed to be higher than any other name, and that we'd rally around His standard, not the world standard. Just like the founder said, the law of nature, if a law of nature is God, that would be our unifying standard, that we would uphold His name. We, would, we could dream again where the churches are full, and we take a Sabbath to focus our energy on Him. We can dream where children actually listen to their moms and dads. And the moms and dads are honored in their rightful place. We can dream with moms and dads that they teach their children when they wake up in the morning, when they're in the way during the day, and when they go to bed at night. We can dream of an America that cherishes the gift of life and that every life, is a gift and every day is ordained before anyone ever comes to be. We can dream of an America where husbands love their wives enough to die for them. And where wives respect their husbands. Where doors remain unlocked. And we invite widows and visitors and orphans in. We can dream of that America where, the, where our words are a bond, where our yes is our yes and our no is our no. And we don't need contracts and we don't even need lawyers anymore. <laughs> that we could dream of that kind of America. 